Hi there, um, Skrivels here, just going to show you a quick tutorial how to use VNC remote desktop and how to get it up and running and set up properly. Um, <coughs> before we do anything, what you will need to do is open your ports. Um, so, oh, first things first, um, a step by step guide on how to do it, head over to portforward.com and um, basically what you want to do is go to our routers so you just click that what I'll do is I'll bring up a whole list of routers um, once you find your router you go to the program that you want to do it uh, you want to open the ports for um, the program you're using is VNC which is on the right hand side near the bottom the reason I'm not going through it is because it shows you your IP address at the top um, it's a good thing because you do need your IP address so once you've got the ports opened there's three ports that you need to open and it shows you how to do it exactly for each and every router um, what you want to do is you want to go to vnc.com um, once over here you want to go to the products tab and click the free edition download the latest version now I'll ask you if you want to uh, enter all your details and that just go straight to proceed to download um, I'm running Windows but you could be running Linux or a Mac uh, it's got all the versions there for each operating system so all you want to do is download it once you're downloaded it install um, just go through the installation process it'll ask you if you want to run if you want to install the VNC viewer and the VNC server you want to install both just to help get it tested and up and running. Excuse me. <coughs> um, once you've got it installed, run VNC server. I've just got it running over here. But basically, this is a dialog bo box that uh, appears when you run it. Um, th you only need to stay on the authentication tab. This is just whether you want a password on your remote desktop session. Um, if you do, go to configure here and type in the password and hit OK. I already have one set. Um, so you just hit OK then OK there. That's your server set up and running. It's as simple as that. Um, if you want to test it, I'll just test it on this machine here because I don't have VNC installed on my other machines on the network. Um, but you just go to run VNC viewer and type in localhost. Now this will test it on my machine. Um, if you want to do it over the internet, what you do is you just get the, inst the installer, install it on the second machine that you want to use for your server and for the machine that you're going to use to view your server machine. Um, so say say this is installed on a laptop, right? And I've already got the server running on another machine. All you do is you type in the IP address in there and it connects you to the machine that's running the server. It's as simple as that. As long as you've got the ports open, it'll work like a treat. Um, but I'm just going to test it as localhost, so localhost, and hit enter. It's asking me for a password, as I've set up a password so no one else can use this. Um, that's one of the main signs that you know is if you're connecting or not, is if it asks you for a password. So that's a good sign. I'll just go ahead and enter my password. Now it's going to look weird because I'm running a desktop on top of my desktop, so it's just going to look freaky and dodgy. But you catch your drift if you run it on a different machine. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit enter now. And there we go. Um, all it does is open up an actual window showing exactly what you're doing on the other desktop so as you can see my mouse is up next to the VNC viewer shortcut um, and you'll see it scrolling over but the box this dialog box here that I'm moving is your desktop to which is over running the server and to be honest your viewer should be on a separate machine it's just an easy way to test the server um, but that's it up and running um, we know it's working properly so we can just shut that down 
Um, but as I say, you just install it on the machine, the viewer on the, the other machine that you want to use to view your server from, and then you enter the IP address of the machine that's running the server, which is this is a server machine. Um, so you just enter the IP address in there, hit OK, and it's the exact same thing, and it'll work. Um, <coughs> that's the easiest way to do remote desktop, and uh, I hope it helped. So, just comment on the video, and uh, if anything, anybody feels something should be needed or I've missed something out, then just give me our next fire message. I'll leave that on YouTube. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.